be the next YouTube. Okay. Okay, we're just going to roll it and let it go right down on its side. Look out below! One, two, three. Well, you have been evicted. <laughs> Get your shit and get the f out! <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. This is day four or five. It's Thursday. We started Sunday, so you do the math. Oh, my finger's in the way. Anyways, between all those trees, you can see my RV box back there. And maybe the bike a little bit, the front wheel there. Anyway, so we've been work camping for the last couple of days, removing uh, trash. And uh, if you've been following... Uh, my life in the last seven years, it's been uh, all about cleaning uh, trash from uh, previous owners. So this place was pretty full of garbage. There's all kinds of uh, piles everywhere. There's uh, stuff beyond the fence over there. There's cars, there's a couple of trucks, there's a van, dozers. Uh, mainly myself and uh, Brittany. Uh, Brittany. Uh, army girl from uh, the US have been uh, cleaning this place up uh, Yesterday we cleaned around the trailers. We cleaned a little bit in that in that trailer. That one's pretty much empty and uh, We emptied that uh, grocery uh, Stuff I don't know what you call it a stand the other ones over there as you can see there's a lot of junk uh, That is our first bin. It is completely full uh, right at the door there's a couple of these barrels full of junk so we're cleaning up uh, the property used to be a KOA and I guess they want to bring it back into the fold so they're doing all this maintenance as you can see like I said there's a lot of junk all over the place um, so we're trying to fix stuff up paint it and uh, there's a guy on top of the roof right now doing the spray paint, the, not the spray painting, but the uh, pressure washing to clean it off. It's looking really good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that it was uh, that bad before, but uh, once you see it uh, pressure wash, you see that it cleans up really nice. So that's uh, over there is the main building and the highway, of course, is right there. The noise isn't too too bad at night. Uh, if you know, I have a shack right by the Highway 7, so for me, highway noise isn't that big of a deal. So, I hope my images aren't bouncing around too much. There's a lot of junk everywhere. We're trying to clean it. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, keeping it real. Uh, so there's a kiddie park over there. We're having to do renovations. Uh, there's uh, 14 cabins way out there. You see them. Uh, they rent fairly well. There's Kevin. There's no uh, rec hall per se. There's laundry, washrooms. There's a pool, outside pool. A little sauna thingy right there. Uh, that there happens to be Brit uh, cutting branches. Uh, I just finished taking a, a turtle like a monkey bars and in a half circle whatever took that out uh, also have to go to all these posts make sure they all have their connections for 30 amp 50 amp 100 uh, 15 amp uh, whatever else they have the water the sewer so we're fixing up the cabins some of them have mold and carpet so that should be removed they're pretty much all need to be uh, re-leveled leveled properly sorry trying to zoom out a little bit here to give you guys an idea um, so far the work camping experience has been pretty good uh, of course uh, it really depends on the uh, the lead couple who direct everybody to do everything to, you know their leadership abilities and whatnot uh, the owners are as usual absentee uh, supervisors who keep changing the priorities which is <laughs> perfectly in line with the military as uh, Brittany and I have uh, been discussing so anyway she's a really nice lady uh, 
Kevin is uh, with Wendy, and they're they're a good couple too. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's been quite an experience, and this video is already too long. So I will leave you with that. All right, you guys all have a great day. As you can see here, it's overcast, and it's about 15 now, so it's not too too warm. However, it's still better than uh, minus 20 and uh, six feet of snow. So, so far so good. We'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, Cheers. Just as an add-on, uh, here comes the boss couple now. And we just got that cart this morning. Um, so obviously it's being put to good use to get to different jobs. Uh, Brittany gave me a lift to uh, cabin five. I had to fix some plumbing over there. And uh, you know, all in all, it's not too, too bad. So over here we have uh, the young lady that I call Army Chick. Um, talk about pulling your own weight. Uh, this girl can do pretty much anything that a guy can do and probably even better. So uh, how's your work camping experience been so far? All right, so like I said, uh, different leadership styles uh, will produce uh, different uh, cooperative spirits. The keyword is actually leadership. The keyword is what? Keyword is actually leadership. Leadership, yes, or the lack thereof, or you know, some some leadership styles are more abrasive than others. So she's uh, trimming the bush. And oh, dictatorship. Well, that that's a form of leadership. Not the preferred type, but... And uh, my mission is going to be to get this uh, cleaned up and safe for kids. And also take the rest of these seats. I took the other seats out yesterday. I forgot about those. And, and I... That oh, yeah. Well, no, I got to get the he turtle head. <laughs> it just looks weird having the turtle head here without the body. <laughs> <laughs> so, teeter-totter is coming out. So, I fixed the fence. Yeah, the... Yeah, they the swing, set, swing sets. Yeah, we're, we're this is after the aftermath of a, a nuclear bomb or something. This is a Stephen King novel. Stephen King novel. There you go. All right, so we got our work cut out for us. Uh, it was fun fixing the fence yesterday. And uh, yep, that's it, guys. Uh, once again, videos too long. <laughs> Cheers. So we've been working for two weeks now. We pulled down this wall. The ceiling got painted. The walls got painted. There's furniture in here. It's super fucking heavy. The ceiling in here should have come down, but it didn't. All the tiles are coming apart. This used to be an apartment for uh, for this lady here, Jeanette, and uh, gonna pull all the uh, all the pegboard that was on here. And uh, sure didn't do it, Dad. these guys here just cut down this wall. So, here we go. These are the ladies that are working. Hey? Don't, don't worry. We'll, 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 put, we'll put a little black bar in front of your eyes. Don't put me on YouTube. The cops will support The cops be looking. Okay. Let me call dispatch. Dan. We got what? What's your, your second you identity? Say, didn't you say Dan that you think they flipping this? That's yes. What doing yes. Yes. The only. Good morning, everybody. We are approximately a little over a week before departure from South Texas. Uh, this is our setup that we've had for our work camping experience, which was uh, not as positive maybe as it uh, could have been. Brittany, my neighbor and co-worker, is uh, taping off her her lines again. We're doing some spray painting. And we did the front cab here uh, a while ago and she's doing some work on uh, taking the caulking off of uh, off her trim and uh, 
resealing it. Uh, so today I am going to be replacing these two batteries and this little battery charger that was uh, supporting her uh, her two batteries. Otherwise, she had to start her car every third day. Um, so we're taking this one out because it's a it's just a car battery. That one's a deep cycle. It's an older model, and I've given her my older AGM right there that I don't really use anymore. So I'm going to be putting that in this little space here and uh, removing this bucket and doing some wiring. So uh, we were able to secure a IntelliPower, uh, that kind of thing anyways. So should be uh, interesting to, uh, to wire up. Uh, she seems to have uh, more than enough of those uh, connection wires to do two batteries. So I'm going to go get my ratchet set, flashlight, I already got my meter, and we're going to do this. So we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so there's the battery out. As you can see, it's got some silicone and whatnot down in the hole there, and it's got uh, some tape there now. This is why. What happens is that back in the 70s, all they had was these lead acid batteries that needed to be vented and in case it uh, it overflowed and needed a place to go. So apparently this was their solution for back then. So now I'm going to take the, uh, the butyl tape off of there and scrape it off, clean it off, clean it off the back. As you can see the cables are much long enough. I can pretty much put the, uh, the charger anywhere, uh, the batteries anywhere. So all right, we're carrying it on. So now, as you can see, I have the batteries mounted in parallel in the back here, in the very far corner. Now, the new converter would fit in here. However, oh, there we go. And you can still open the panel. However, uh, the fan would not get much, uh, much air. So instead, I think I'm not gonna have a lot of choice uh, but to mount it in that corner and because this box is not square That space back there is a little bit uh, extra so All right Another couple of minutes. We'll have this done. All right, so here we are the converter is now in I secured it with a screw <clears throat> ran the wires uh, Nicely to the box. Uh, it's plugged in the lights did come up a little bit in lighting of course there's your connections to the old fuse box. Now it's usually breakers, but anyways, this, this is what it is. This is a temporary circuit breaker. It resets after a while. That's what they had back in the 70s. Uh, we had 12.2 uh, volts uh, together. Uh, and then when I initially plugged it in, it uh, was a 13.2 and it's now 13.3, 13.4, and it's, uh, yeah, I imagine it was gonna gradually go up to the 13.6 volts uh, that the uh, converter provides, uh, as stated by the label right there. If you can pause that and see it. So that's pretty much the regular installation of the batteries in an older RV. Come on. All right, and, uh, now I'm gonna show uh, the user how to uh, hook up their uh, their solar panels. They have uh, portable solar panels that they want plugged in, and they have a handy dandy little port here that uh, will be very suitable once cleaned up uh, to hook up directly to her batteries. So, all good. We'll see you in a little bit.